That was a good game. I can't believe you came back from zero points. I thought it was. Coming up in the Windy City, Chicago, Illinois, at United Center, the Timberwolves taking on the Bulls. For Minnesota, they sit number seven in the West, holding their own with good company, and they're just getting started. Bulls, Timberwolves, coming right up. Welcome, everybody. Thanks for joining us for NBA Action on 2K Sports. Hi, everyone. This is Kevin Harlan. And joining us tonight, Greg Anthony and Hall of Famer Doris Burton. And reporting from the sidelines, our very own David Aldridge. And 
Let's now take a look at some of the numbers for Nikola Vucevic. In the last five games, you can see the trend upwards for effective field goal percentage. And it shows you how confident he's playing right now. And before we get going, let's hear from David Aldridge on the sideline. David? Kevin, thank you very much. We all know Anthony Edwards went first overall in 2020. And his teammate Carl Anthony Towns said, I know what all those pressures are like. When you're the number one pick, if any other rookies do well, there's a threat to the throne. But with Edwards' confidence in his talent, you get the sense he'll be just fine. Guys? Good point. No pressure, D.A. Thank you. And the kind of game fans love to watch, Greg. Two offensive teams going head-to-head. -head. And the rules today favor offense. And that's why league-wise scoring continues to rise. And checking out Minnesota's opening lineup. We've got Russell. He's out there with Patrick Beverly. Anthony Edwards out there with Carl Anthony Towns. And it's Vanderbilt in at the power four. And for Chicago, they've got Vucevic. Levine is out there with Dosumer. Then it's DeRozan. And it's Green in at the four spot. Tip off goes to Minnesota. Inside. And Towns, the bucket on the assist by Russell. Well, the more repetition he gets, the more floor awareness you develop. D'Angelo Russell showing a desire to get his teammates involved. For three, Levine. The shot misses. And so it's Russell with it. He brings it up for the Minnesota Timberwolves. Outplayed in the previous game on their schedule, losing to Chicago. And sometimes you can make a few plays here and there, but never get into a real rhythm. That's what happened to them in that game. I'll tell you, that's a great way to put it, because I thought they were all over the place. They never settled into any kind of rhythm. Beverly, wide open, sinks the three-pointer. Beverly. Patrick Beverly getting more catch-and-shoot opportunities, and boy, is he shot ready on the catch. Bean passes to DeRozzi. Trying to come right back with the three of his own, but it's no good. And now the fast break. Edwards with the ball. Anthony Not Edwards. everyone has the green light to For take three. that three in transition, but he does, especially with the defense already set up protecting the paint. And it's Dosumu oh, with the jam. Strong move to the 10, trying to get his guys going. Hard not to get motivated, GA, right when your teammate makes that kind of play. Where was the defense? No help. You can't afford to give up these kinds of buckets. And it's Beverly missing. And he's already patted himself on the back and forgot to put the ball there in the basket. DeRozan for three. Rebound, Minnesota. Victory eluded them last time in Chicago when they faced the Bulls. Rough game defensively. I mean, they lost a lot of the individual matchups. And the help was slow to rotate. I'll tell you this, if you're going to allow your opponent to make that many shots, you have got to be as solid on the offensive end. And clearly, they were not. And Kevin, you tend to forget this about Levine. I mean, he's still so young. You feel like he's been in the league forever. Driving the lane. And it's good. Two points. Boy, this guy's so quick with the ball in his hands. DeRozan's acceleration makes him effective. For Minnesota, they've gone 50% from the field, hitting three of six since the opening tip. Now here's Towns. He had a 27-point outing in their last game against Chicago. Off target from the baseline. You know, Greg, I was just thinking about Zach Levine and his age. He's just now in his mid to late 20s. And he's grown so much since that rookie year. Excited to see what numbers he can put up as he gets ready to enter into his prime. Here's Dosunmu. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. And it's all knotted up. How about the timing? Can be the difference between an assist and a turnover. Nice delivery. Minnesota's gone two of two from three-point range here in the first quarter. Timeout called first of the game for Minnesota. And momentum going the other way. Can, can they find some answers? I think here you have just got to get back to what you do best and then live with the results.
with this quick break, we can show you the list of the most explosive shooting guards in the NBA so far. In the third spot, Zach Levine. And this is the cream of the crop at the two-guard spot. I mean, strictly in terms of their scoring ability and the ease with which they can overwhelm would-be defenders. You know, and that's why it often requires more than one man to defend against any of them. These players draw more double teams than any group in the league, and they still are able to put up points at a devastating rate. And that was a great replay we just saw of our mobile one block. And an early swap like that can really set the tone. Now the shooters will be feeling his presence. Chicago on defense. Outside, Towns. Traps in the tray. Towns has got five points so far. Boy, the range of Carl Anthony Towns is remarkable. He has said he wants to be the best player in the game. He is on his way. No doubt it's been a bit of a struggle for him here in this quarter in terms of scoring. And it's stolen by DeRozan. Takes it inside. And the dunk by DeRozan. Wow, pure power on the drive by DeMar DeRozan. He's got that extra burst. We've seen it. Able to finish with force. Picked his pocket. And the rejection by Towns. Green against Edwards. Floats one up. He can't get that one. For Chicago, they've gone just a shade under 50% from the field. Five of 11. Levine, good. Well, bit by bit, Zach is becoming physically tougher, which makes you mentally tougher. And Zach Levine gets the whistle that time. Zach That's Levine. his first foul. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. Edwards looking it over. Outside, Towns. Back to Edwards. And DeRozan sends it back. Well, DeMar DeRozan, really strong effort on the defensive end, pays off by sending that Jared opportunity Vanderbilt. back. Nice job creating for the easy deuce. Chicago's gone 0-4 from three-point land to start out. Looking cold from outside. DeRozan, Minnesota with the rebound. Edwards got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. So the wing on the left. Russell with a wide-open look. And again, Minnesota with the triple. Well, it's key that you've got to maintain concentration throughout the game. And D'Angelo Russell, nice job in the catch and shoot. Passes to DeRozan. Let's it go from deep. And it's Russell with the rebound. I know he's got to be frustrated right now, but the team is fighting from behind. He's got to stay with it. Here's Levine and the jam by Levine. Well, how about the anticipation by Levine? Gets the pick and jump starts the break. That's how it's done. And it's Russell with the ball. He'll bring it up for Minnesota. And so it looks like the Timberwolves will retain possession here. Minnesota ball. Towns, the pass to Beverly. Stolen by Levine. Here's Green. That's good, and it's Levine with the assist. Now, Zach Levine is a solid passer. This guy entered the league as a point guard, puts it on the money there. Beverly against Levine. Stolen by Levine. And Vucevic kicks to Green. Back to Vucevic, and he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. That one is on town. We know this about Nikola Vucevic. He's a high percentage finisher. To me, the next steps, right? Improve your defense, be more consistent with range, and if he does that, he's golden. Free throw drops for Vucevic. There's an element to Nikola Vucevic's game that fits well with most of the league's modern offensive schemes. And with his inside-out game, he's a guy that can stretch the floor 
And Kevin, when you look at today's NBA, nothing is more important than spacing and passing. And when Vucevic is on the court, you can be sure the spacing will be excellent. And so he hits both. And Greg, at this point in the year, if your system overall doesn't seem to be working, how much can you really change before the offseason? Well, usually a system change would come with a coaching change, but sometimes it's not the system. And sometimes you just need a different voice. And keep in mind, you also have to evaluate that roster and, and find out if the players on that roster are a good match for the system. And they've come out with a take no prisoners approach on the glass here tonight, guys. Bradley trying to break free. And DeRozan with the basket on the assist by Vucevic. DeRozan's got eight points. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. Here's Edwards. Pass to Vanderbilt. And again, the turnover by the Timberwolves. That looks like a lack of focus. You've got to question what he was trying to accomplish there. Chicago making some changes. Alfonso McKinney's checked in for Vucevic, and it's wide in for DeMar DeRozan. Naz Reed, he's checked in for Minnesota. Malik Beasley comes in for Russell. Chicago leading by four. Takes it from 10. Off the left rim and out. For Minnesota, they've gone six of 13 from the field, just under the 50% mark. And it's out of bounds. Out of Last bounds. touch by White. Brown is checked in for the Bulls. Thomas comes in for Dosumu. McDaniels, he's checked in for Minnesota. Akogi comes in for Edwards. Poke loose. Reed finds Beverly. And it's Beasley in the corner. And there is the whistle. That goes on Kobe White. That is his first foul of the game. Personal foul. Second team foul. And Beasley now on top the key to stop the run. It's hauled in by McKinney. Chicago leading by four. Right the pass to McKinney. And some nice ball movement here by Chicago. Here's Brown. Not enough on that one as it misses. Minnesota's gone four or five from three-point land to get things going here in the first. Here's a Kogi. Some solid defense from Brown. The ball shooting 45% for the fielder. Fires from 14. Shots good by McKinney. And the Bulls lead by six. And a solid playmaker. White has a great sense for when he should look to give it up. Minnesota calls timeout. And with Kobe White, you, you hate to see him set. He's best when going at the rim. The defense wins if he takes that mid-range jumper. trail by six and Greg with Kobe White he's a solid shooter but teams have keyed in on him I just want to see him more in attack mode he's a solid finisher when he gets in there and it could take his game to the next level and with those points he puts an end to that 10-0 run by Chicago and he drops in the layup off the glass and they're forcing the ball inside and it's working like a charm 
Beasley with a clean look from out on the wing. He knocks it down. Well, I'll tell you this. If the defense collapses, if it makes a mistake momentarily, Beverly has the kind of basketball IQ to take advantage. McKinney. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. And the Bulls lead by six. Just doing the job on the backboard. And Beasley has the ball here for Minnesota. Poked away and stolen by White. Unloads from 13. Offensive rebound. Nice work on the board. It's paying off with the basket. White's got his second bucket of the game to go. And let's get your take, guys, on the hustle stats for Chicago. They've come out in attack mode on the defensive end. They've applied pressure and forcing turnovers. They also came out of the locker room ready to run. Their transition game has been in full effect. Beverly against Thomas. And the call will be made against Matt Thomas. That is his first foul of the game. And now the first timeout called here for the Bulls. Coming off that win Time against Minnesota. Well, it's easy to score when you're facing very little resistance. That's why their offense looks so good now. Well, give them some credit for taking advantage of a weak defense and capitalizing on every mistake. Daniels passes to Okogi. It's Beasley on the wing. Light covering. Just five to shoot. And it's Tony Bradley with the foul. That's his first foul. That's his first personal foul. Fourth team foul. Here's Reed. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Reed's got five points so far. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. And they pick up two. And the Bulls lead by seven. Every time they get scored on during this run, it's come from inside the paint. Thomas with the steal. Pass to McKinney. Here's Brown. Whistle blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. And they've done the job on the offensive glass. And it's fun to look at Troy Brown Jr. and see anything other than raw potential. That's exactly right. The physical tools are eye-popping. And he's always ready to step up for his team. The challenge, show the league you're capable of consistency. Free throw good from Brown. Timberwolves trail by 10 to the paint. Here's a Kogi. Well timed pass, and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. They can see Patrick Beverly lifting his team with his ability to find an open teammate. Pretty pass. Brown hits in. It's his third field goal of the game. He's three for five. They're doing a really good job of getting the ball inside and attacking the paint. That's an area they have completely dominated. Stolen by Thomas. And here comes Brown, leading the fast break. A slam dunk by Thomas. Yeah, we're seeing some fireworks from them already. Well, what I love is the game plan has been solid from the opening tip. And guys are making their shots. That's critical. 
And the pass to Okogi. Beasley against White. And it's sent back by White. And I love seeing White use that athleticism on defense. Great hustle to swat that shot. Offensive rebound. McKinney can't connect from short range. Boy, this guy is a good finisher, so he misses a chippy. That's tough to take. Beverly for three. A three-pointer is Beverly. right on target. Three Beverly's points. got a pair of threes now in the first quarter for the Timberwolves. Here's Brown. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. And I like the fact that the defense is looking to protect the rim at all costs. The Bulls have yet to miss from the free throw line. They're three for three. And they've shot the ball well this season in, in, in terms of their attempts. 81%. That free throw missing. Torian Prince, he's checked in for McDaniels. Good on the second free throw. And here's Beverly. He brings it up for Minnesota. It's a 10-point game. And stolen by Thomas. Plays it in off the breakaway. Yeah, off to a strong start here early. Six points off second chance buckets. And the Timberwolves with possession. Get there, get there. Beverly, the pass to Reed. 43 seconds left in the first. Passes it to Prince. Timberwolves passing it around. Reed gets the bucket. Nas Reed. 36 seconds left in the first quarter. White goes in, and White with the stuff. They have been excellent so far, coming in with a well-balanced attack. On the offensive end, it feels like they're getting the shots they want, and defensively, they are connected and on a string. So it's the Timberwolves now. The Bulls getting the bucket. Read the pass to Okogi. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. That's his first personal foul. It's his first trip to the line. And of course, we'd all like to see his percentage at the line improve. But he just does not have the touch right now. He's in the 60s. And the first one at the line is good. And he can't hit the second. The Bulls leading by 11. White down low by Beasley, who buries it down low. White's got eight. And the defense looks soft early on. They've got to sum it up. A little more sense of urgency. That's his second personal For Minnesota, they have gone one for two on the night so far from the line. Shooting for Minnesota, Patrick Beverly taking two shots. Shoot two. No good on that one. What you have to love about Patrick Beverly is the long road to the NBA and his commitment to getting there. Think about this, guys. Three different European leagues before he signs with the Rockets. I don't know how you can't appreciate that kind of work ethic. And he ends up missing both free throws. Thomas down low. 
and he uses the glass on the layup. Six points for him. And you can see their strategy coming in. They want to control the paint. They have used their size and their strength to get off any shot they want. They've dominated on the interior. And so it's DeMar DeRozan making highlights for Chicago. He notched eight points in the quarter and has that terrific basketball instinct on display. And we've got more NBA action on 2K Sports coming your way after this break. Welcome back to the second quarter of action. Plenty of basketball left to play, but this one has been one-sided so far. And guys, we've seen a confident-looking Bulls team out there. Well, you can see these guys are unafraid to take chances defensively. Well, very disruptive in that first period. They never allowed the offense to get comfortable. So on the floor for Minnesota... Russell in the backcourt with Beasley to his side. Then it's Nas Reed. Then it's uh, Torian Prince. And it's a Kogi in at the four spot. And Bradley gets it to go. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now. Especially on the interior. A Kogi misses. The Bulls leading by 17. And Thomas, here we go. An easy two points on the way. Thomas got eight. When you allow good scores to get uncontested shots at the rim, no wonder you're losing. To me, this has simply stated been a complete lack of defensive attention and focus all night long. And how about the footwork? Check out those moves in the post and then the sweet finish to go along with it. Excellent work around the basket. You're right, GA. And it's White missing. Timberwolves trail by 17. Beasley left side. And he comes up with the deuce. Beasley. Beasley's got his second basket. When you watch Torian Prince play, you know it's about team. This guy finds the open man and loves delivering it. And here's Bradley from three. That one's not going to go. So Minnesota will take it the other way. That will conclude a five-game road trip for him. Prince, the best to read. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. And down the road, Greg, which current player might make for the best coach? Well, I'm always partial to the point guard. And if you're looking for leadership, man, Chris Paul, Mike Conley, those guys I think are destined to coach. I think LeBron would be a great one as well. But I got a sneaky suspicion he'd just rather own the team. And he knocks down the first one. So Chicago going with an almost entirely new group here. Vucevic checked in for Bradley. DeRozan comes in for Troy Brown. Zach Levine's checked in for White. And it's Dosumu in for Matt Thomas. Minnesota also making some changes. Towns comes in for Josh Okogie. And it's Edwards in for Beasley. Both free throws good from Reed. The Bulls leading by 13. Levine for three. Reed with the rebound. And so it's Russell with it. He brings it up for the Timberwolves. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on DeMar DeRozan. DeMar DeRozan. That's his first foul. Vanderbilt's checked in for the Timberwolves. Second team foul. Now into the lineup for the Timberwolves. Jared Vanderbilt. Second quarter of basketball, just over a minute and a half played so far. And the foul Ayo called Dosumu. on Ayo Dosumu. That's his first that is his foul. first foul of the game. Third team foul. Here's Russell. He has five. Robbed up there for Redwood. Takes the alley pass and dunks it down. And maybe that'll trigger them. Impossible not to get pumped up after that. Yeah, well, you can see the immediate reaction of the guys on the bench. They are pumped up. Gets it from three-point range. Now, Zach Levine's athleticism and high release point make it very difficult to contest shots. Got a piece of it. Fast break. Here comes Chicago. Here's DeRozan. The baseline J off the mark. And let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. 
Well, the league remains in love with three corners, but DeMar DeRozan remains true to his game. He says, if I see 100 people walking left, that doesn't mean I'm going to do the same. I see this clear path and want to stay right. Shooting threes, I feel like I'm settling. Whereas I think anytime I drive, I'm going to score or get fouled. Kevin, different strokes for different folks. Yeah, but D.A., I love that strategy. Thanks for that story. Boy, that's all by design now. Get the shot as soon as possible on that inbound pass. And Doris, the last few years for Russell well, has seen a lot of turnover and change for that young man. And you know what? That can really slow down a player on the court more than you think. Last handful of years, Russell has changed teams and coaches several times, and yet he has still continued to be a factor on the floor. Well, if the defense gives him that shot next time, they could get burned. I think he's just a little bit out of rhythm. He gets that one. Levine. And 11 points for Zach Levine. By I tell you, feeling the contact and concentration to finish through it. Nice by Levine. And here we go. The Bulls fast break. Down it goes for his third basket in as many tries. Attacking in transition, the most consistent way to generate easy looks. The very definition of quality transition offense. If it can end at the cup, it's exactly where you want it. Well, put all that size to good use. Rip it off the backboard. And DeRozan, here we go. That's good, and it's Levine with the assist. Levine's got three assists in the game. And the timeout, timeout. called time. And Nikola Vucevic just quietly dominates. Capable of racking up a double-double on any night. Yeah, it still feels like Vooch is a bit underrated. This guy can flat out play on both ends. Capable scorer, improved defensively. You love what he brings to the table. Just over three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. It's Edwards on the wing. The Timberwolves again can't hit. I I'd love to see them impose themselves a little more on the backboard. That's a great way to find confidence. It's always a surefire way to get back in the game. Getting it done on both ends and it shows up in the score. Well, what I love is the energy they're bringing right now. They're ignoring the scoreboard and playing hard. Here's Russell, the Bulls getting the bucket. Prince, the pass to Vanderbilt. Kicks to Russell. Pass to Edwards. Rocket six. Bounce pass, Prince. Towns for three. Another miss by Minnesota. You can just see the frustration growing on their faces. Nothing going their way. They've just been one of those games, and they need to find a way to turn it around before it gets completely away from them. So it's the Timberwolves now. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. And the foul called on Io Dosunu. That'll be his second foul of the game. Russell passes to Prince. No one near Edwards as he lets it fly. Anthony Edwards. Sinks the triple. Edwards got eight. And this is big for Edwards' confidence, wanting to keep hitting from downtown and stretching that defense. And this offense is in a perfect rhythm and you can see how they're finishing their plays well what great game planning what great execution it doesn't get much better than this here is russell following the score by demar derosa 
Edwards, that's good. And don't let Edwards' position fool you. Anthony is built like a linebacker. That upper body strength helps him down low. Levine's shot is off. And oh, here we go. Prince has got it. The fast break chance. And really, as the three-pointers keep dropping, you get the sense that the frustration is mounting for the defense. Here's Green. Wasted no time on that shot, but it's off the mark. Timberwolves trail by 18. Here we go, one on one. Now, here's Dosumu. Not a lot of room, and it goes down two points. Well, you have to be cognizant of where people are when the shot goes up. Defenders not blocking out in that instance. Oh, and a fast break for the Bulls. Minnesota with the rebound. Russell's got four rebounds in this game. Over to the left wing. Towns kicks to Russell. Timberwolves passing it around. Towns dishes to Russell. Good, and the assist goes to Towns. Russell. Ten points for him. And the D has gotten a little bit laxed here, defending the triple. Here's Levine with the putback. And Green is right there. And the Bulls lead by 19. And I need to see some more assertiveness out of these defenders. And so it's Russell with it. He'll bring it up for Minnesota. But Trey, the rebound by Dosunu. Chicago has gone one of four from three-point range in the second. Not a whole lot dropping out there for them. Count the basket. I love his shot selection today. He set the bar for the rest of the team. Oh, and a fast break for the Bulls. And it's Dosunu with the chance. Well, if you don't take care of the ball, fellas, that's what can happen. Absolutely, Greg. That makes the turnover even more painful. At the end of the day, though, it's two points. Don't hang your heads. Let's get refocused and play with more patience. And so it's Minnesota with it. The Bulls getting the bucket. And, and so we need to make plays for Assist others. Ball. Edwards moving it Anthony with conviction. Edwards. Time called here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. Chicago and and Anthony Edwards, ball. the top pick of 2020. And Not the most polished player early on, but his ceiling is through the roof. Alfonso McKinney's checked in for Chicago. Minnesota also making some changes. McDaniels, he's checked in for Vanderbilt. Malik Beasley comes in for Torian Prince. And it's Patrick Beverly in for Russell. No soon move. Rebounded by the Timberwolves. So many top picks come in ready to play, Greg. Edwards, a part of a class that needed more time there. Yeah, the talent is clearly there. And don't forget the pandemic cutting the college careers of many of the 2020 draftees short. Edwards, though, has all the tools to be an incredible wing player. Vucevic down low. Towns on him. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. This guy's so polished inside. Nikola Vucevic great at being assertive and earning these fouls. These are his third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. And he's at 73% this year at the foul line. Adequate, but not spectacular. The free throw drops for Vucevic.
and both free throws good for Vucinic. And now that we've gotten a taste of it, Greg, what do you think of the play-in tournament? I, I love it. I mean, it definitely has some pros and cons, and you want to keep as many teams as possible engaged down the stretch, but it's a long season, and for some teams, it just got a little bit longer. Vucevic, and two shots coming up at the line as he gets fouled on the shot. There's the foul. That's against Minnesota. You've got to be careful how you guard Nikola Vucevic. This guy is so good at forcing the defense to hit him on the way to the cup. That one is off. The Timberwolves making a switch here. Akogi's checked in. He hits the second from the line. Everly with the ball. He's coming off a 10-point game against the Bulls in Chicago. He was also an excellent setup man as well. This guy was cutting the defense to shreds with incredible passing. I'll tell you, he's playing with much more discipline here in the second quarter. He is waiting for good opportunities and capitalizing. And here is McDaniel. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Now, here's Dosumu, defended by Towns. Dosumu, shot is good. I'm sorry, that's poor defense down low again. It's been a mismatch thus far in the paint. Everly with the ball. Now guarded by Vucevic. Towns for three. And oh, another Anthony three Towns. for Minnesota. Yeah, these defenders had better start closing down on shooting. On the wing, Levine. Over Beasley. And it's Chicago scoring again. Well, they're leading in large part because of the work he's put in in this quarter. This is nicely done. Pass to Towns. And he banks in the lane. Towns has got 12 in the game. Well, offensively, this guy has been cooking. They're definitely not losing because of him. And Levine, here we go. It's good. And the Bulls lead by 20. It just seems like the more he touches it, the more the lead grows. And that's out of bounds. Minnesota will retain possession. Minnesota. Nas Reed, he's checked in for time. Now into the lineup for the Timberwolves. Nas Reed. Beasley outside. The pass to Beverly. Here's a Kogi. Six to shoot. Two minutes to the middle. For Here's Reed. And there's the second time to finish it off. That's Reed. how you share the rock. He does this time and time again. Time, time called here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. The loudest and craziest fans get a free feature. Let's hear you, fans.
Chicago, going with an almost entirely new group. Bradley's checked in for Vucevic. Troy Brown comes in for DeMar DeRozan. Whitey's checked in for Zach Levine. And Thomas subbed in for Dostumer. Now here's Bradley. And rebounded by McDaniels. McDaniels got four rebounds in this game. Passes it to Beverly. And here's Reed. Guarded by Bradley. And Beasley, here we go. And that's out of bounds. Minnesota will retain Minnesota possession. Ball. Now, here's McDaniel. He's tightly guarded. Just three to shoot. Here's a Kogi. Rebound by the Bulls. The biggest lead of the game was 24 points. The Oklahoma City Thunder will be in town for the next one. Thomas against Beverly. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Thomas. One sixteen left in the first half of basketball. McDaniels passes to Okogi. Beasley against White. Shot clock at six. Well, when he lacks in size for a typical center, he makes up for it with all that athleticism. He can e elevate. And again, Chicago turns it over. Timberwolves ball. Timberwolves trail by 16. Beverly, the pass to Reed. Here's a Kogi. And the rejection by Bradley. That'll be Minnesota as it goes out of bounds. Timberwolves retain possession. There's 45 seconds left now here in the second. McDaniels passes to Reed. Five on the clock. Knocked loose. The Bulls leading by 16. White goes in. And White with the stuff. Hot off the drive. White is so explosive. Leaping off the floor and throwing that one down. 29 seconds left in the first half. Beverly against Thomas. Now here's Beverly. Defense right on him. Now Bradley. Shoots over Reed. Up again. McKinney. Great positioning on the footback. And the Bulls lead by 20. Oh, great timing. He is one tough customer on that offensive glass. You know, it's like he has a sixth sense of where that rebound is going. And so it's the Chicago Bulls controlling the game and finishing the quarter with a 20-point lead. They've got a big advantage in the turnover stance because of their intense defense. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Kevin, thanks. Billy, balanced scoring for your team. How pleased are you with the way they're keeping everybody involved offensively? Well, those guys, I think, have done a really good job of moving the ball and sharing the ball, and they're finding open men, and they're willing passers, and I think because of that, they've been efficient offensively. Open shots tend to be made. Thanks, Coach. Back to you, Kevin. All right, Dave, thank you. And time now for the halftime break with the third quarter soon to follow right here on 2K Sports. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back. The first half mercifully coming to a close. I'm Ernie Johnson. Kenny's here. Shaq is here. Zach Levine led the way in the first half. He ended up with 17 points, four steals, and three assists. And Kenny, what did you think about what you saw from Chicago? They're getting into the lane whenever they want. Getting some high percentage looks. I don't see the coaching staff switching up too much. Keep it simple. Force your opponent to adapt to you. How about you, Shaq? What did you think about Minnesota? 
Well, they were playing like it was Christmas, you know, giving up a lot of turnovers. There's no excuses for the turnover numbers, sloppy ball handling. They looked out of control, and the execution was all over the place. And that's a wrap. With the third quarter approaching, we now send you back to Kevin and the crew. the second half upon us we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be you look at Zach Levine he's really been playing well what a menace he was on defense through the first two quarters just disrupting everything well it was about effort and anticipation hard to get into an offensive rhythm when you know this guy is lurking and after a very lopsided first half we'll see if things play out a little more evenly here in the second Third quarter action getting rolling right now. Brought to you by Gatorade. All filled up and ready to go. Here's who's on the floor. Taking a look at the Bulls. Vucevic is out there with Green. Then it's DeRozan. Then it's Zach Levine. And it's Dosunmu in at the point. The Bulls leading by 20. And Russell, a player known for his offense. But, Greg, he's put in work to improve his play on defense as well. Russell was known for his lack of defense there for a while, but he's been trying to improve that part of his game. It's a long road, but I tell you what, he is definitely taking steps. Stolen by Levine. Gets it to fall, and now he's 10 of 15 on the game. That makes three in a row to start the second half. The Timberwolves shooting one of the high points for them in this game at 54%. Towns, the pass to Russell. Right at the free throw line. Vucevic with the rebound. Vucevic has got rebound number five here tonight. Here's to Rosen. And then jam down as it goes right over Anthony Edwards. This guy does not mess around. DeMar DeRozan, spectacular. My goodness gracious, sir. And now another look at that mobile one block defensive performance. And this is how you protect and grow a lead by making a huge effort on that end of the floor. Over in the corner, Edwards. Good, and it's Russell picking up the assist. Russell's got six assists now in the game. What a terrific play by just a tremendous all-around player. This time makes it look easy. Now here's DeRozan. 16 points for him. Levine gets the bucket. Wow, five straight buckets coming out of hand. Rolling. Russell passes to Beverly. Back to Russell. Pass to Towns. Jacks up a three. And again, Minnesota with the triple. Boy, that's three for four this half. You like that they're starting with a little bit of extra energy. Nice. Here's Levine. And then Levine with the jam. Such a big time athlete. Levine makes the hardest moves look easy. And it's Russell with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Minnesota Timberwolves. Stolen by Levine. Ahead. And finished off by DeRozan. And I think that play sort of sums up what we've seen tonight. Just simply being outplayed both sides of the ball. Smart basketball defensively turning into easy points. And it's out of bounds. Uh, they say it was last touched by Vucevic. Let's take another look at the staunch defense during that mobile one block. Sharp instincts on D there. Just timing. When to rise up and swat that one away. A little over two and a half minutes off the clock in this final half of play. Edwards kicks to Russell. Six on the shot clock. And it's Beverly missing. And with the success they've had rebounding the basketball, they're right where you'd expect them to be firmly in the driver's seat. Well, this is the point where you say, uh-oh, DeMar DeRozan is going to start to get rolling. This guy can impose his will. Minnesota's gone two or three when they ventured outside the arc in the third quarter. And the Timberwolves call timing. And the lack of rim protection top of the list. 
And the question they're going to have to answer to me is, is it a problem with the scheme or is it a problem with the matchups? It's gone now in the third quarter. Russell from long range. It's hauled in by the Bulls. I'm shocked that didn't turn into three points. I mean, he makes you pay on those nearly every time. Now, this guy is a high flyer. I mean, especially for a power forward, and he needs to be as an undersized player. For Minnesota, they've gone three of six in the third quarter, 50% from the field. Here's Vanderbilt. Green with the block. DeMar DeRozan on the wing. Edwards defended. Boy, how effortless does DeMar DeRozan make those slams look? This guy glides to the rim and makes it look easy. Pass to Towns. Will it go? And there's Edwards on the assist Edwards. by Towns. Edwards got 15. And his stroke has been dead on from the outside. I mean, inside, outside. It just doesn't matter. Kept alive. No Zumu. And that one is good with the extra effort on the glass. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. And Levine with the block. Well, with his vertical, Levine sends it back. That is nice. And it's Green slamming it down. Here he comes, and there he goes. Ugh, look at him punish that rim. The Timberwolves have gone four of nine from the floor so far in the third. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. That pass had to be thrown not only in the right spot, but at the right time. Now here's Levine. He's got 26. Outside, Russell. There's the pass to Beverly. Banked in off the glass. Beverly, Ten points for him. Well, this guy's ability to attack and be aggressive. Patrick Beverly in the painted area. Here's DeRozan. And it comes off the front of the rim. The Timberwolves have gone a solid 6 of 11 when shooting here in the third quarter. Here's Edwards. Good, and it's Russell picking up the assist. Edwards. Edwards got seven now in this quarter. And we are seeing tonight why Edwards was selected first overall. Anthony has a special ability to score. Well, you get exactly what you want right there. Clean look right at the cup. Nicely done. Ball's knocked loose. Here's Dosunmu. And he goes right over to Angelo Russell and slams it down. That's a double whammy, guys. <laughs> That's right. A great defensive play. Then the emphatic stuff. Uh, let's see if that serves as a momentum builder. What a great sequence for this group. Here's Russell after the Bulls pick up two. Towns with it. Now guarded by Vucevic. Pass to DeRozan. Over Edwards. And it's DeRozan missing. For Minnesota, they've gone 7 of 13 in the third quarter so far, just above 50%. Edwards kicks to Beverly. Another miss by Minnesota. Well, two long range bombs in the first, but that's stalled out right now. Here's Dosunu. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Sharon Vanderbilt. That's his first personal foul. First team and a closer look here at the scoring breakdown the for, the for the Bulls. They've been penetrating with a certain amount of ease, guys. Just as much in this half 
as the first. Now, something else break. they've done Take is a force a lot of mistakes with their defense and then turn those turnovers into points. First free throw is good. Chicago making some changes. Tony Bradley's checked in for Vucevic. Troy Brown comes in for Green. And it's Kobe White in for Levine. Minnesota also making some changes. Naz Reed, he's checked in for Carl Anthony Towns. Torian Prince comes in for Vanderbilt. And it's Malik Beasley in for Patrick Beverly. Both shots good from a strike. Now, here is Russell. He's got 13. Pulls it from the elbow. Jump shot is good that time. Russell's got five points in the quarter. Well, this is a main strength of D'Angelo Russell. When he gets room to shoot from the mid-range, there's no hesitation. Flying high and throwing it down with the one hand. Woo, one of his favorite moves right there, guys. Now here's Beasley. He has seven. Pass to Reed. DeRozan brings the double team. Up top, Russell. Four on the clock. 20 feet out. Rebound by the Bulls. White's got four rebounds now tonight. And DeRozan. Here we go. And this is what we've come to expect from this guy, right? Not only making a ton of shots, but being efficient while doing so. And DeRozan, a free agent this past offseason, took his time to find the right fit in terms of who he would sign with, ultimately choosing Chicago in a big victory for the Bulls. They're getting on a roll inside. Their last three field goals have come from the paint. Guys, they're looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively, for sure. Torian Prince. Well, fast off his feet and up at the rim in a hurry. Torian Prince with an easy one. Now here's White. Ten points for him. Here is Russell. They get a hand on it. And now White pushing it up and no one back to stop him. And DeRozan throws it down. Tremendous effort getting the steal, then getting the ball up the court. It amazes me how quickly you can change ends. You've got to be prepared to sprint the floor. So it's the Timberwolves now. The Bulls getting the bucket. Russell, Russell with the bucket. When D'Angelo Russell has that offensive game working, you just want to play through him. Here's White. Two points. That one goes. White's got 12. And Beasley has the ball here for the Timberwolves. Pass to Reed. Free throw line jump shot. And that one hits back iron. The shot's there for him, and he's got to take it. I don't care if he doesn't convert. That's a shot he has to continue to take. Now here's DeRozan. 30 points in the game. Here's Bradley. And the Bulls tack on Tony two more. Bradley. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They keep getting it in the paint and continue to score consistently. To the inside. Reed gets Not the bucket. Reed. 15 points in the game. The Great chemistry between the two Angelo teammates. Russell. Love the passing. Fires from the wing. Bradley with another miss. I'll tell you, it has not been this guy's best night, but the teammates have been there to pick up the slack. Love it. And DeRozan sends it back. And a big lead for them on both the scoreboard and the backboard thus far. Minnesota's gone 2 of 5 with a three-point shot since coming out of the break. No good from Beasley. Chicago's gone 1 of 2 from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. Let's it fly. They get the rebound. Here's Dosunmu. Tries yet again. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. Well, this is what he does. Find ways to make his presence felt. Then this time on the offensive glass. How about the hustle on display there? That kind of effort will earn respect from everyone. And he'll be shooting his first free throw of the game here. Numbers this year at the line below 70. So when he's getting to the line, not nearly 
as Mind effective as you'd like. Alfonso McKinney's checked in for the Bulls. Thomas comes in for Dosumu. The Timberwolves also changing it up. McDaniels is checked in for Prince. And Akogi subbed in for Edwards. Bradley no good on the free throw. Shoots over Reed. And the Bulls with another miss. I think this is a spot he has got to become more consistent from. You want to command the defender's respect. My goodness, that was absolutely filthy. Oh, nasty. This building is stunned. He dug deep, Greg, into his bag of tricks there. Beasley, the pass to Russell. And he drops it in from the low post. Russell's got nine points in the quarter. This guy, an effortless scorer. Outside, inside, in between. Dynamic scorer is D'Angelo Russell. These guys have had some good motion on offense. Nice assistant. And, and when everyone's Malik involved Beasley. offensively, it has a Free. way of helping you on the defensive side as well. Thomas kicks to McKinney. Shoots over McDaniel. And again, unable to change momentum here. Down low. Plays it up and banks it in. McDaniels got his first two points. And not being as aggressive from the three-point line anymore. They had a lot more attempts in that first half. And he makes that one. And after really leaning on that three-point shot in the first half, seeming like they're just getting away from it here in the second. More of the shots coming from the interior. And that one is good by Beasley. Their ability, uh, again, to stretch the floor, particularly in this second half. And guys, boy, when you're hitting, it sure does work. It obviously opens up major options at the offensive end. Got that bucket. McKinney's got 10 points in the game. Controlling the defensive glass has been a problem here tonight. Thomas against Russell. Beasley left side. Read the pass to Beasley. And again, Minnesota Malik with the triple. Beasley. Oh, great For ball three. movement there. Well, Chicago has gone one of two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. Here's White. Here's Bradley. And he goes up strong with one hand and flushes it down. That is a product of pure effort, guys. I agree, and that's nothing new coming from him, GA. He loves going to work on the rebounding, going to work on the boards. What about the decisive finish? Great timing, tremendous force. And so it's the Chicago Bulls out there all by themselves with a 32-point lead to end the quarter. The scoring has been tremendous, and they are shooting lights out with very high accuracy. Right back after this break. And let's go back to a terrific pass that we're calling tonight our State Farm assist of the game. Just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball. And how about the perfect delivery? We call that putting it right in the pocket. And he knew what to do with it once it was there. And one quarter to go in a game that, to this point, has not been an evenly fought contest. On the court for Minnesota. McDaniels is out there with Nas Reed. And it's Noel in at the point. Here's McKinney. That's in there. Thomas with the assist. Thomas got four assists in the game. And this is why coaches talk about playing with pace. The scoreboard tells it all. I think this is what we call, quote, running a team off the floor. They have been fantastic in transition. Into the lane. And a hard finish there, guys. And only one hand needed for that one. The Timberwolves shooting 56% in this game, really stringing quality possessions together offensively. And Greg, with recent legal results, more opportunities now for compensation for college athletes. Uh, do you like it? I do. I mean, there's enough money going around. I don't have a problem with the athletes getting a share, uh, especially with the amount of time and effort and energy they have to commit. Let's take care of the guys. Let them enjoy the collegiate experience. Nice ball movement by Minnesota. Here's a Kogi. Just five on the clock. 
Gets the three-pointer to fall. You simply must play better defense than that. This guy is too good from distance. And it's Hill penetrating. And it's Hill with the jam. Oh, fellas, that was a vicious two-hand monster slam. Guys, I don't think there was anyone who could have stopped him on that one. Timberwolves on offense. Here's Noel. The pass to Balmoral. And again, Minnesota with the triple. Listen, even average three-point shooters are going to make that shot. Defense must be better. For Chicago, they've gotten all three of their shots to drop here in the fourth quarter. They came out of the break on a roll. Cook, good. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Minnesota's gone two for two from three-point land to start the fourth quarter. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Bulls will take it. Chicago ball. Carl Anthony Towns checked in for the Timberwolves. Carl Anthony Towns. Outside Thomas. And we're around two minutes the into the fourth quarter here. Good. You know, the assist is the key part of that play. The pace on the bounce pass, perfect. Passes it to Noel. Inside, here's McDaniels. Beautiful dish, and the layup goes down. And bullseye with that assist. Nice delivery there in traffic. Outside Hill. Here's Samanovich. No good. Shot missing. Timberwolves go the other way with it. A Kogi for three. It's hauled in by McKinney. McKinney's got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. Tries it from 19. That one wide left. Going for that shot in that situation is something that isn't going to help the offense. And in a way, by Jamie taking that McDaniel. one, he's bailing out the defense. It's just too easy to stop. Wow, what a pass there. He made that a very easy basket with that setup. Fast break, Minnesota. Good, that Jamie one on target Noel. from Noel. Assisted. Noel's got seven John now in this quarter. Okay. That's their third straight make off an assist. Here's Thomas. And again, Chicago, no good for Minnesota. They've gotten it done so far from the field here in the fourth, going six for seven. Well, if you're just tuning in, welcome. We've got about three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth quarter. Balmaro, good on the three-point shot. Balmaro's got a pair of threes here in the fourth Start quarter for Minnesota. For the Bulls. Yeah, coming down the stretch, they've become reliant upon their perimeter game. Boy, the three-point arc has been a major factor in what they've done here tonight. You love the aggressiveness. Time called here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. And last season, All-Stars Greg missing 19% of their available games. With the shortened off-seasons, are you concerned about the toll it takes? You are, but this off-season may be not as painfully short as the last one. All and in right. these tough times, some sacrifices are made, no doubt. Health, perhaps, one of the biggest. The Timberwolves making a switch here. Layman's checked in. Bulls have gone 5 of 8 shooting as we've come down the home stretch in this final quarter. Here's Thomas. That one's off. Still out of sync. Cook, good. Yeah, coach's pet peeve there. No box out. And to me, this is a common theme that's running through the league right now. Guys looking to leak out rather than box out. That's in there. Thomas with the assist. Thomas got his seventh assist of the game with that last one. Minnesota's gone three or four from downtown here in the fourth. Pass to Towns. It's hauled in by McKinney. Bulls have gone seven of 11 from the floor in the final quarter so far. And some solid looks for them. Thomas, good. Here's Noel. Pass to McDaniels, to the inside, and Towns gets it to go. Well, you want to see this from Carl Anthony Towns. He's got the size, the length, and the touch to take and make high-percentage shots. Thomas goes in, 
That ball is good for another field goal. His sixth. He is six for nine on the stat sheet. For Minnesota, they've gone eight of ten from the field here in the fourth quarter. Really getting it done. Here's Noel. Outside, Towns. Lock at six. Here's Lehman. The second chance effort. And Towns finishes Ball inside. Towns. Again and again, they're dissecting the defense and creating those high percentage looks from inside. Now the pass to Noel. Here's Balmoral. It's hauled in by Thomas. And it didn't fall, but that's the kind of shot they want their offense to create. You know, it can be frustrating when you make the right play and fail to reap the rewards. You just have to stay with it here. To the middle. Here's Towns. Oh, that's blocked. And Greg, you faced some exceptional point guards during your time in the league. But who was the toughest matchup for you when you play? Oh, man. You know, John Stockton was always one of the most difficult. But in a weird way, not because I worried about him scoring on me. It was because I had to defend his ability to make people better. And, and that was always a challenge. Noel. Don't forget about the great Penny Hardaway. I mean, at 6'8", that, that was a nightmare to deal with. And my personal all-time favorite, Isaiah Thomas, who was as good as anybody's ever been at that lead guard position. And we're seeing some great ball movement out of this group, guys. Here's Balmaro. Towns high post. Towns is doubled. He kicks it to McDaniels. Back to Towns. With the shot. Offensive rebound. That's a basket. He is eighth from the field. Eight of 14. Well, there's a willingness to mix it up on the glass, and that's a big plus for Carl Anthony Towns. And the basket by Hill. Just no resistance on the inside. That's their fifth consecutive make in the paint. Passes it to Towns. To the paint. Here's Lehman. Towns trying to get open. And that one misses from Lehman. Pass to McKinney. Outside Hill. Rebound, Minnesota. McDaniels got six rebounds now in the game. Inside, Towns. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. And Towns, not known for his rim protection, but he's improved in that area recently, challenging and changing more shots. At the line for two. The free throw drops for Towns. And with Towns, Greg, you knew he had the potential for rim defense, and it became a focus for him. Yeah, and, and a lot of defense is putting in the effort. Credit Towns for improving in that area, and we'll see if he can take another step defensively. Troy Brown's checked in for Chicago. And Towns drops them both. And it's the Bulls with the ball. Offside Thomas over Prince. It's hauled in by Carl Anthony Towns. Towns has got the glass covered here tonight. 11 boards for him. And he wasn't about to do Assist anything from. that would get him in the trouble there. Nope. Uh, up and in with a one hand uh, finish, uh, the most basic possible. Here's Brown. Rebound, Minnesota. And oh, here we go. Prince has got it. The fast break chance. Here's Noel. And again, Minnesota with the triple. Well, individually, he is doing everything he can in this 12-minute session, but he's just not getting enough help. Brown, good. Troy just Brown good Jr. aggressive drive from him that time. Found a hole in the D and went straight to the rim. That's tipped. He swipes the ball away again. 
And that's his sixth steal of the night. Imposing his will at the defensive end. And this is something this guy takes pride in, capitalizing on second chance opportunities. Minnesota's gone to three-point range for 12 of their points in the final quarter on four of five shooting. Here's Brown, and Brown throws it down. Brown in the flick of a switch going from defense to offense. Well, just terrific anticipation to force the turnover and ignite the break. And taking care of the ball has been a problem for them. That's something they've got to fix. While the defense has been good, a lot of these turnovers have been unforced. And so it looks like the Timberwolves will retain possession here. Minnesota ball. Knocks it loose. Here's Hill. That one falls coming off of Thomas's feet. That's now eight points for Hill. Boy, you have to be impressed with the offensive production. They have got it firing on all cylinders. And at this point, it is their game to lose. They've done such a good job building the lead. Noel, no good. Bull shooting percentage, 59%. The offense is running smoothly. And the Bulls tack on Matt two more. Palmer. They're having trouble stopping this run. And the more trips they continue to come up empty, the more the pressure builds on them. Prince outside. Pass to Noel. Shot from free throw range. The shot comes out. And the Bulls go into the other way. Two minutes. And here's Hill for three. Rebounded by the Timberwolves. The pass to Balmore. Dishes to Prince. Passes to Lehman. From downtown. And he's good on the, the three ball. Balmoro. Balmoro's got nine points here in the second half. Well, he showed right there. This guy capable of making shots, especially if you leave him that wide open. Out and out of bounds as the Timberwolves, Timberwolves gain possession. Nas Reed, he's checked in for Carl Anthony Towns. Nas Reed. And the Timberwolves with possession. Noel passes to Prince. And that'll be Shoot two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. That's his first personal foul. All right, Greg, I'm going to put you foul. on the spot. Who do you think right now has the best backcourt in the NBA? Oh, my goodness. I mean, so many Taking terrific backcourts to choose from. You know, Phoenix has got to be in that conversation with Chris Paul and Devin Booker. But I'll tell you what. With the Splash Brothers healthy and back at it, it's just hard to beat that combination. The first one falls. And you watch Torian Prince and how valuable he is to his team for a couple of reasons. Number one, he doesn't make a lot of mistakes. He defends at a high level, and he can really stretch the floor. Well, guys, this was never really a contest. Just a total obliteration, if you will. You can safely say mission accomplished now for the Bulls. As one-sided as it gets today, you know, there were some dominant moments in there about every facet of this game for that team. Yeah, I mean, Kevin, it's hard to think of what didn't go right for them. Uh, game planning by the coaches, execution by the players, everything was just on target. And this will make it 36 wins on the air for them. And in a three-game season series, they take the first two, and certainly they've had the edge in this matchup. I mean, when you look at the stats, you'll see just how dominant a game this was for Zach Levine. Boy, forget about his stats for a second, right? What impressed me most was his stamina. It seemed like he was involved in every play. And with that kind of activity, I don't know how you don't wear down. Fourth team foul. And Billy Donovan wants a timeout. Leandro Balmaro at the line for two. Chicago timeout call. Ladies and gentlemen, the lovable. Ladies and gentlemen, the lovable.
Look who's coming out of the court. Get up and get loud for the Lovable. And now we present our New Balance Player of the Game, Zach Levine. And what an amazing ball game we've seen from him. It's been a one-man show worth the price of admission all by itself. There wasn't anything he couldn't do on that court tonight. Coming into this game, he'd been having a tough stretch. We all know that, but not anymore. He's back at his best, and I think it's safe to say that slump is over. First one falls for him. He's perfect from the line this time. 51 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Here's Hill. That's another one for him. His fifth in just seven shots. Convincing lead with very little time remaining, and the fans are pumped. Well, they're getting ready to celebrate, no doubt. They know it's theirs to lose at this point. And it's Cook with the ball for Chicago. From 20 feet out, no good off the front iron. Listen, offensively, they're very comfortable with him taking that shot. It's a good look under very little pressure. He just can't Not convert. Free. Well, get it inside to a quality score and let this guy do his thing. So at Chicago now, the clock now can just run out for the Bulls. D2 from Hill. Rebound, Minnesota. And guys, you've heard of overpassing. Well, that shot was an example of underpassing. Well, there's no doubt there were better options on the floor, but it certainly seemed like he had his mind made up. And so Chicago takes this one and by a big margin. And the outcome of this one was never in doubt. And boy, they really put in a supreme effort. Uh, it just felt like once they had that lead and it was comfortable, they were not going to relinquish it. A chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Kevin, thank you. Jamar, this team is playing well together. How are you encouraging and fostering that sense of all of you being together and playing well? Um, we're just making everybody comfortable. We're making each and everybody on this team comfortable. If it's jump shots, if it's attacking the basket, you know, even if it's on the defensive end, you know, we're just giving each other confidence every time we practice. And it sure looks like it out there tonight, Jamar. Thanks a lot. Kevin, back to you. Thank you, David. Great interview once again. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, and the rest of our terrific crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.